Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Stephanie's Lyrlin. I'm Stephanie. I know it's been a while. I know. It's literally been like two months since I last recorded a video or last uploaded a video. Honestly, the only excuse I have for that is I was doing my exams. And they're over now, so it's summertime. And I'm going to start back again doing my booktube videos, hopefully more consistently. And I'm so excited to read. I'm so, so, so excited to read. I have missed reading so much. I don't think I've actually picked up a book. I picked up one book, I think. And that was Are We Surprised? The Wicker King by Kay Ancrum because it was a comfort read. What we're gonna do today is I'm gonna fix this bookshelf. You might be thinking, Stephanie, you're after doing so many bookshelf reorganizations lately. So my last video obviously was a bookshelf reorganization and I am doing another one. We're just gonna ignore that. Okay, and also I'm not vibing with how this looks anymore. I don't know what was going through my head when I was doing my last reorganization. I really wanted it to be like minimalistic and look simple and like clean and elegant, but it's literally not functional and I don't like it. I'm probably gonna ramble a lot in this video purely because I haven't recorded one in ages and editing me is gonna hate that. Okay, I'm just gonna start because otherwise I'm never gonna start and this is literally gonna take me all day. I'm gonna chat while I'm emptying it, I think. To start off, I'm gonna give you a little mini haul of the new books I got. A lot of these were gifted to me by M from Perfect Paperbacks. I love you, M. You're the best. So let me actually get all of them together and then show them to you. Okay. Let's start with the books I got myself. They are three classics. So I actually got two copies of Little Women. I already own, I think it's just one copy of Little Women, which I haven't read yet, but I'm gonna read them, read them, read it this summer. I got this copy, which is just so cute. Like how pretty, how could you not? And then I also found this one for literally so cheap recently. And it's the Penguin English Library Classics edition of Little Women, obviously. And it's just so beautiful and it's floppy. So I think I'm gonna read this copy this summer and annotate it. So I'll probably vlog that because I've never actually read or followed through with reading a classic before. And I know the story of Little Women because I've watched the movie many, many times. And I'm so excited because I just am obsessed with Little Women. Actually, speaking of that, it's not the only Little Women copy I have. Well, technically, like the other copy isn't really the original story. But actually, M gave me this, which is Joe and Laurie, which are two characters from Little Women, if you didn't know. And it's essentially just like a fanfic, I think. I'm not really sure. It's a retelling of Little Women after the events take place and it kind of like changes the outcome a little I think and it's obviously about Joe and Laurie um and then the other thing I got myself recently literally like last week or something is the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde I don't know if I've mentioned this on my channel yet but I've been wanting to read this book for so long it was actually on my English course for school for my exams but we didn't end up picking this novel which is annoying also kind of not because I feel like I would have hated it after having to study it so much and do exams on it you know but I was dying to get this and I'd seen it so many times in my shops around where I live and I was like oh my god I want to get it so bad but all the covers are ugly and I just wasn't gonna just buy it online because it is a classic and I haven't read a classic book yeah I actually started listening to this on audiobook during the pandemic and it didn't last that long but I did enjoy it and I found it quite digestible like it wasn't hard to really understand like I was able to follow along with the story it is gay so very excited about that and just look at this oh my god what a steal and it was so cheap as well and you know Oscar Wilde is from Ireland so that's so slick look at all these and then the other one she got me like <laughs> my heart so I have had these on my reading list for like a while and I honestly don't really even know what they're about so well some of them I do and some of them I don't so I'm just gonna go through them quickly because I haven't even started emptying this yet and I've been talking for literally like six minutes the grace year I've heard it's gay and about women strong women so that's literally it 
this one i actually saw on a clockwork readers channel a few months ago where she read books that are supposed to make you cry and this book actually really made her cry and she said it was really really good so very excited for that love a good cry this is a modern retelling of pride and prejudice that is all i know sounds intriguing this i've been very excited to read it is very short but also i've heard that it's kind of hard vernacular you know so um it is oh my god it's blurbed by madeline miller slay it's gay and about two women in in a like sci-fi world don't really know this one is the great god in by oh my god i just haven't even been saying the names doesn't really matter have you you've seen them so i'll, I'll just say the names from now on <laughs> this is the great garden by meg rossoff it's a real summer vibe so i'm gonna try to read that this summer as well the midnight lie i've actually read this before and i really liked it i still haven't read the second book yet because it hadn't come out after i read this but i'm very excited to own a copy because it's stunning and also read the next one and then I have two books from the same author, Kaylin Bayron, um, which are two books I've heard so much about. And again, sapphic, we love to see it. This Poison Heart and Cinderella is Dead. Stunning covers, like, are you kidding me? S wow, wow, wow. Like, do I need to say more? Stunning, stunning women. Um, obviously Cinderella retelling, but sapphic. And then this one's about magic, slay. The last one is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I've wanted to read this series for so long and I have seen all the other books in the series around but not the first book for some reason. Oh my god and and she got me the, oh actually I don't want to move my phone because it's gonna fall but can you see it's a Grishaverse like tapestry that um, M gifted me as well which it's like love it but the biggest thing the biggest thing she gave me that i'm i literally cried when i saw it it's a raven voice print if you couldn't tell and obviously if you've um watched any of my videos before you would know i am quite literally obsessed with the raven boys i do have a tattoo for the raven boys and i'm just oh when i saw this i was so excited i'm not sure i think it's fairy loot that it was from but like wow i'm gonna actually start taking them off now and i was gonna not speed this up because i was gonna chat but i've been chatting for ages now so <laughs> i'm gonna speed it up while i take them all off come back to you then them all off the shelf in a very timely manner i think i apologize if you can hear noise outside it's very annoying but my dad just started cutting the grass i think um so we're gonna go yeah i have so many books oh my god i just realized i didn't even take these off yet so i need to go do that but like i'm out of breath from that Oh my god and you can probably see as well all the dust jackets i have up here because if you watched my last video you would know that i took off all the dust jackets off my hardback books as you can see and put them on my shelves which i actually did like the look of i think it's lovely but i do like the dust jackets of a lot of my books so i don't know what to do yet about those because right so i have a little bit of a predicament i love the throne of glass series as you all might know but I also adore the covers on the dust jackets, but they all looked really good together with just the black spines and the gold writing. So I don't know what to do because I feel like my dust jackets are kind of getting damaged. Like they're easy to fix because it's just 
like once they're flattened again it'll be fine but yeah i i don't know i don't know what to do i think what i'm gonna do now is take off the stuff off my shelf above my bed and look on pinterest for some inspiration i think i do want to have a shelf of unread books though because that might be nice to do i haven't done that before and yeah i'm gonna keep with my like author shelves that i like to do we shall see we shall see i'm gonna empty that one and then look for inspo on pinterest because i'm severely lacking in inspiration right now i have cleaned my shelves and everything is off them now um and i looked a bit on pinterest there to see i think i'm just gonna go with the flow like usual i know i want to keep my authors to have their shelves and then we're gonna have a classic shelf so i've decided i'm gonna change my shelf up there for the first time in ages it's going to be my awards shelf so i'm gonna just put loads of kind of trinkets and any awards that i have they were originally kind of up on top the very top shelf of this but I decided I want my, my, I was about to say library, it's not really a library yet, but I want my bookshelves to look more full. And I have these that I had on my other shelf. I think I might put them on this shelf, but I don't know. We shall see. I don't know what I'm going to do. Originally when I got these, I wanted to cut them um, because I wanted them like just singular vines to kind of like go down. But I don't know if I will do that because like, when I got them then I realised, oh, they're nice like this, they're like a bunch and they just, we'll see what I'll do with those. And I'm going to put the dust jackets back on there, up there. But you're currently standing on Throne of Glass, so I'm going to have to move you. So I said earlier that I haven't read much lately and I just checked my story graph and I have not read a single book in May, <laughs> let alone June. So that's the way it's looking right now. But I did actually read the Heartstopper graphic novel series for the first time in April because the show was coming out. And obviously I didn't get to talk about it on here because, you know, I was busy. But oh my god, I am beyond obsessed with Heartstopper, not only the graphic novel series, but the entire show as well. I rewatched it literally three times already <laughs> i am way too obsessed with it just love it i think the characters were done so well the actors are all phenomenal it's such an amazing show and is done in such a lovely way and i'm so excited to read the next volume and watch the next series like it is insanely good another thing i actually watched started watching i think last night was something i've been waiting to come out for a while and it's called the summer i turned pretty and it's on amazon and i'm sure most of you might know but it is based off of the book series by jenny ham i'm pretty sure the author of um i was gonna say ps i love you that is not correct uh to all the boys i loved before which i haven't read those books but i have watched the first two movies and really really enjoyed um so yeah i'm watching the the summer i turned pretty and it's really entertaining i won't lie i love a good um besties to lovers and a love triangle and it's so funny it's so funny and also i think it's really good at portraying teenagers nowadays and just the jokes and the slang and everything is just so perfect and right and i just really appreciate that and same with heartstopper it was the same thing it's very much like we can relate as teenagers to the characters and i i say as teenagers when i turned 18. i'm gonna keep putting these dust jackets on because i actually have a load to put on other books i think what i'm gonna do is set up my throne of glass shelf because that's pretty easy it usually says the same and same with my A Court of Thorns and Roses series with that. And maybe my Maggie Stevar shelf and then come back. Okay, we are making progress. As you can see, I this could change. Like everything, it could change. But I have my Throne of Glass and my other Sarah, Sarah J Mass books. And then I also put these Violin Delights and our Violin Ends. The um, I also did my um, Maggie Stevar shelf. I think I am going to change this, just I don't like it that much. I don't know, I have like space for one more book and I am actually missing my paperback 
copy of Raven Boys because I got it for my friend. But I I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it, but it shall stay that way for right now. My favourite shelf so far is my classics shelf. So these are notebooks. Then I have the retelling of Pride and Prejudice. And then I have the notebook, the colouring book kind of thing I got of Pride and Prejudice that I forgot I had that was on that shelf up there. And then obviously my copy of Pride and Prejudice. You can't really see the titles. And then Wuthering Heights, Jane Eyre, Picture of Dorian Gray, my two copies of Alice in Wonderland, a small copy of Romeo and Juliet, <laughs> um, Handmaid's Tale, A Room of One's Own and Three Guineas by um, Virginia Woolf that I started and then stopped. I think I vlogged it. <laughs> but anyways, um, and then all my copies of Little Women. I have no idea what I'm going to do now with the rest of the stuff. I'm just going to put some series and then random standalones and then series and standalones and like break them out. I might just make my TBR shelf. I might put that maybe somewhere low. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I think I'm going to time lapse a bit because I feel like this video is going to be very long if I just keep stopping and talking. So I'm going to time lapse me putting up more of my series and that TBR shelf and then come back when I have a few shelves left that are still, oh, I still want to put stuff on top. Oh my God, this is going to take me all day. I have all the books on my shelves now. Kind of liking some of it, kind of not liking some of it. So I fixed the, I fixed the Raven Boys situation that I didn't like, so that's done. I still have yet to put up the other books on the shelf above my bed. Or not the books, I wasn't gonna put books, um, the like trinkets. So I'm gonna go do that. That'll probably be the end of the video. I'll just give you an overview of the shelves and how they look afterwards. <laughs> Okay, so I'm done with my bookshelf. I honestly didn't change that much from the last clip. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm very sorry that I haven't had a video in two months. It's summer now and I'm so excited to get to do videos all the time and read so many more books because I haven't been reading and it's so sad. But I'm so excited and there's gonna be so many vlogs. Like I'm planning on doing a reading vlog to finish off the Infernal Devices series that I started ages ago and just so many other vlogs of books that I want to read. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see as well, but I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!